Nigga, nigga, my pony. My car was five hundred and I don't put no miles on it. I was running wild only with five hundred thousand on it. guys it's your girl i see monroe and welcome to my video thank you thank you thank you and today i will be showing you how to do these lovely yarn locks yes i said it yarn yarn locks. i will be showing you how to do these yarn locks now it took me a minute i'm not even gonna lie it did take me a minute, but that was only because I had work, I have my kids, I'm constantly doing stuff, I'm traveling, like, I've been dead tired, so it took me, like, all weekend, but I didn't do them on the weekend, so, I, anyway, so I hope you enjoyed the little clip I'm about to show you on how I did my locks. I'm only going to be giving a couple of demonstrations of these two front ones. Um, you can't really tell, but this one is an ombre look going down to burgundy. And this one is a straight black. Okay. Okay, hey guys. So here I am showing you how I am going to start the yarn lock. I have 10 pieces in my hand. I just took three pieces out of the 10. Sorry guys, so <laughs> that was my daughter coming in. So I'm making sure the other pieces of yarn is even um, all the way to the bottom and I'm taking the three pieces and placing the end part at the top of where I'm going to start braiding then I'm gonna take these three pieces and place them in between my ring finger and middle finger just to secure it to keep it out of the way when I start braiding my hair and I'm holding on to the other strand with my pointer and thumb so here I just start braiding my hair I don't know if you guys can see I'm holding the other pieces still out the way but I just started to braid it I'm not doing it tight you don't want to do it tight because when you start wrapping your hair it's going to get tighter and you don't want to have a headache like I did when I did the back because oh my god I did it way too tight so I braided it down to almost where my hair ends and I'm taking those three strands and I'm starting to wrap. Like I said, um, don't do it too tight, but you want to still do it tight enough where it's secure. But because these strands are braided in, you can actually start out loose at the top. So you want to, you know, just start covering up the knot, well, the part where you started braiding. So I guess the little knot part. And you're going all the way around and you're coming over it and you're going to start to pull it to tighten it see I wrapped it and pulled but I'm holding on so it's not I'm not pulling too much to where it's like super tight you know and I'm like oh my god I know I'm gonna be in pain but I'm just wrapping it pull wrap pull Sometimes I would wrap, then wrap again, and pull it. I'm just showing you, um, you want to get it as close as possible, even if you have to lay them on top of each other, just to make sure that nothing is peeking through. You don't want your hair peeking through, because the whole point of it is for it to be a protective style. So, and then, yeah, like I said, I just I kept on wrapping all the way down. I wrap, pull, wrap, pull. Um, I'm right here. I'm showing you there's a gap of where I didn't get close. You know, so you can see, example, you will be able to see. And once it, like, once you let go, it's going to untwist a little bit. So that gap could become a problem. It could get bigger, and then everything at the top would be loose. So I just pushed it up just to close that gap and secure it so it's super tight and yeah i just kept on wrapping um sometimes i would wrap 
and then on the second rep I would pull to make it tight but do whatever works for you guys so now I'm just checking to see how much more I have to go as you can see I made them super long so that's the only reason it took me forever to do the shorter they are the quicker I'm, I'm in my mind I wanted to do short but I guess subconsciously I wanted them long so here I'm going to show you how to add on um, hair so you just take three two to three you don't want it to be bulky because the more hair you have the bulkier it's going to be so I took three and I placed the end pieces once again with the rest of the hair and I just started wrapping above it um, on top of the other three pieces that I left on left off on so it overlapped it created a little bump but like I said when it untwists it's all going to even out but if if I would have used like two strands it wouldn't it probably it would have never been a bump so you would have never even known so here yeah I'm just showing you this twist and pull you want to make sure it, it's nice and tight so it doesn't come undone so I'm almost at the end excuse my shirt <laughs> Um, you know, it is one of those comfortable shirts I like to do my hair in, especially my kids' hair in, so it has all type of stains from oil. So I'm just pulling, pushing it up just to make sure it's secure because I did notice that it was some gaps I wasn't wrapping close together. I was get, I was super tired. I just wanted to be done. So I'm just checking to see how much more I need to go. Um, I would use a braid next to it to see to just do a check limb so they were all even so I am now even as you can see and I'm just gonna take one out of the strand out of uh, the three that I was wrapping with and you're gonna tie it off I did I believe three knots and make sure to pull really tight um, to make sure that it was secure and that it was not coming undone because the last thing you want to do is all your hard work go to waste because the end wasn't secure enough so yeah three knots and I just the rest I just cut off the uh, three pieces that I was wrapping with was still a good length so when I cut it off I did use those three strands and um another lock that i did you know just to just to use it up so it wasn't going to waste you don't have to but you know you can do that um i'm showing you where my hair was showing through so all i did was i just moved like where i had pushed up in the beginning i moved it down some to close the at least close up some of that gap some of my hair was still showing through but it wasn't as bad as it was before so like I said this you don't want that though you just you want to make sure you get it close as possible and I'm just showing you how it looks it's super long super super long and like I said I'm just see how long those two pieces are like I could still use those so you know I just cut it off and then boom I did unfortunately I didn't do a clip um, showing you how I sealed the ends but I, I just burned the ends and palm twist them and, and that was it just to seal the ends of them so now I'm going to it was a little tight <laughs> now I'm going to show you how I do the ombre uh, lock so once again 10 pieces took 
except for the rest were burgundy and then I took the three pieces that I was going to wrap with to be black and I'm, I'm doing the same thing I'm putting it in between my middle and ring finger I'm pinching with my pointer and thumb and I am going to start braiding so I use that my other my left hand to grab my hair then I take I know it's complicated my middle finger to pull it over I bring the other side over and you start braid I mean if, if you know how to braid then this should be no no problem for you you know if you don't know how to braid I'm just showing you how I do it so feel free to stop pause go back but it's just crossing over cross under over cross under over if that makes sense but yeah i just i braided it all the way down as you can see my hair is super thin so i really honestly i really didn't need to braid that far down because you my my hair so thin that the yarn covers it up by itself anyway but just for the purpose of this video I want to show you guys so like I said I'm starting to twist I'm covering I couldn't see so I, <laughs> I was trying to make sure no burgundy was showing at the top so I pulled it but don't pull too tight like I said because it will be tight on your scalp and you don't want that so I did have some burgundy showing at the top but I thought I got it and I did it so I'm just pull twist wrap pull wrap and like I said you can um, wrap it once and then on the second wrap pull it is still come out tight it still be neat so that way you're not pulling every time because it it does start to irritate your hands sometimes but you know i just i kept going i was so used to it by then but you know you just want to make sure it's nice and secure and that they're close together remember to have them close together and nice and tight because you don't want no hair peeking through so i'm just pushing it up because i did have some i have some gaps i know you guys couldn't see it but i did have some now you have the option of doing more strands but like uh like i said the more strands you have the bulkier it will get so unless your base which is the strands that you're wrapping around has like you know it's bulky on its own uh then don't add on like just you're gonna want to keep pulling from the strands that you're wrapping from so here i'm dropping one black piece and i'm picking up a burgundy i'm gonna start the ombre effect i hope this is making sense to you guys I mean, it's it's pretty easy. It's, it's still a lot of tutorials on how to do it, but I, you really don't see too many people showing how to do an ombre uh, yarn lock. So I just wanted to show you guys how I did mine. So see, you have, it's mostly back, but you have that. Just a hint of burgundy coming through. See that it's like black and then you like have that hint and then it gets more burgundy it looks it, it looks so good <laughs> like it looks so good I did a great job this time so right here I took out another black piece Try to do the one from the top. It'd be easier to cover up 
so you're not fighting to like go underneath a yarn strand um, so I picked up another burgundy piece and I started wrapping um, it was starting to look a little ropish <laughs> I, I wasn't liking how it was looking with just that one black piece right there so what I did was I just picked up a black piece that I had put down and then just put it together just to add more black to it and I started wrapping so see that looks way better like if it would have looked like that at the top going down the ombre effect would have been super better but you know I didn't, I didn't care but then I'm taking those black pieces out and I'm going full commando <laughs> no I'm, I'm just taking those pieces and I put another uh, burgundy piece and I started wrapping so as you can see it's black and then it goes little burning little burning and then more more and then now it's just completely burgundy and no black which created this beautiful ombre effect I really enjoyed it um, I didn't know how it was gonna come out but it, it came out really good I did other ones in my head just like that I even did one where I did a ombre a reverse ombre effect um, so I, I started with the color at the top so here I'm just showing you that you know cuz it was it was starting to get short so I just put them in with the other ones and I picked up three from the ones I was twisting around and started to twist with that so you don't have to always add on hair you can just start twisting but when it starts getting too thin you do want to add on just so it's it stays the same size like you want to keep it uniformed you know unless you want that taper look where it goes big to skinny but it's, you still have to be careful because if you're taking too many your uh, lock could come out shorter than the rest so I wanted to make sure they were all even. But see that part looks like ropish. But it still looked good. And then it went black into the burgundy. And right there I'm just showing you. It's a big old gap. And I just closed that gap up. I just pushed, you know, because I had made it so tight that I was able to push them together to close it up. And boom. That's that's it, guys. I still had about six, and I was so tired. But that's it. That's exactly how you do them, and I just completed the rest like that. So stay tuned. I'll be back. Hey, get it. Hey. Hey, hey, killing the game. <laughs> it just happened this way. I tried one where, where's it at? Where you just take it, you put it uh, without braiding. Because, like, these are braiding, but you leave two strands out in the video, in the clip I'm going to show you a C. Um, but you leave two or three strands out, and then you start to, like, you braid it. To however far you want to braid it and then you start wrapping those strands that you left out this one I tried just taking the yarn and placing it as close as I could and started wrapping and as you can see it's not as neat like down here it's neat yeah this whole is a whole example like you see how neat that is and then you see like how messy this one is. It's because that the wrapping technique of just like all of it was not working for me at all. 
I could not do it. Um, I definitely have to braid, especially because my hair is thin. I have to braid it first and then start wrapping to get like, to get the tightest, but you don't want it too tight, but get, to get it neat, because I like neat. See, like, you feel me? I don't know, like, there we go. My, don't ignore the little hairs and stuff, but, okay, there we go. You see that? Like, it's neat, it's tight, it's still flexible. Like, I didn't do it super tight where it's extra stiff. Some of them are stiff. But let me see if I can find one that's stiff. I guess because it's so long, ain't none of them really stiff. But like it is neat compared to this one, where like it just looks a hot mess. You feel me? Like it looks a hot mess. But it still came out cute. That that one's hideable. I have color, I have red, I have burgundy in my hair, like, I black, um, I did combinations, I did, I tried, I did mixed, uh, I'm gonna be showing you in the video how I did this little ombre one, yes honey, you can ombre, okay. You can um boy. I did full colored ones. Okay, this this one not a good example because it actually goes I guess reverse ombre. Where's the color and then it goes black. But see, I, I was tripping. I was honey, I was so sleepy. Um I went from like burgundy to black back to black. It's cool though. Like who cares? Then I actually have one that is pink because my kids wanted mommy to have pink in her hair. So, boom. And they're super long. Let's see. See that? Like they literally, I don't even know like, you feel me? Like, and mind you, I am 5'4", so let me, <laughs> they're super duper long, but it was worth it, it was all. So I hope you guys enjoyed the little clip that I showed you. Um, if I had the time and I really didn't have nothing to do, it probably would, I know I'm over here looking over here. It probably would take me maybe two days, a day and a half. Before, like, when I first did it, it took me, like, two days. No, no lie. But I would say a day and a half only because I did start late on Thursday with doing it. And then Friday came along, and ugh, that was a wrap. Like, I had, we had appointments. You know, it was just a lot of stuff going on, so I couldn't finish it. But I know if I had all Friday to do it, like, this would have been that. This video would have been up. Your girl would have been boom, 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 boom. Like, uh, 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 uh. But, you know, like, stuff happens. It's life. What can we do? So, I really do hope you guys enjoyed my video. Stay tuned for the next one where I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on $1 makeup. Yes, I said it. $1 makeup from Shop Miss A. Shop Miss A. So, I hope you guys, once again, I hope you guys liked it. And stay tuned. Bye, my lovelies. Oh, shoot. I got to come up with a name for y'all. What's it going to be? Damn. The Icy's? Ah, y'all going to buy Icy's? Because we the ice. We the baddest. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Bye.